And this one is Denny. Uh, thanks for coming back. And uh, I wanted to talk today about how a solo canoeist is really not alone. And there's so many people that are integral to doing a successful solo journey. Now I go out for weeks, months at a time, but behind me are all the people that help me get ready. And today I'm thinking of my friend Denny Alsop. And he's built the two canoes that I've used over the last 30 years. And the more recent one is called Loon. And it's a strip-built boat with western red cedar on the bottom. And, uh, oh, fiberglass top, but I don't remember the wood. Balls, no, okay, I don't remember. That's one of the things that I'm like too. There are very earnest people that want to make their paddle, make their canoe, make their food. I'm not one. I like to use the expertise of other people and I do get a better thing than me making the canoe. And Denny made it in his living room over one winter, 17 six long, with lots of tumble home. And that tumble home creates the opportunity not to be swamped as easily and it's just like a beautiful leather glove that you fits your hand, that canoe fits me. And it's now too old for me to use, I've put too many bottoms on it. And I've given it, and it's been accepted into the PBD Essex Museum for their small craft collection. And I couldn't be more honored that that canoe will have a life beyond its time with me. One of the things they liked about having it in their collection was, as opposed to many boats that don't have any stories, he can interview me, the user, and Denny, the maker. And uh, there are two PBS films which uh, have central images, Lou.